about to go through a car wash. I'm surprised this huge thing can even get through here. Honestly. I don't need a wipe down, guys. I appreciate it, though. Huh? I don't need a wipe down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got to hurry up to a run. Uh, All right. Can he pop that? Can he pop that? Uh, yeah. Just get the mirror. Sweet. That's cool. All right. Believe it or not, I just got the car washed. <laughs> Instead of getting the car washed, well, the limousine washed at uh, the limousine company place that I work for, they had me stop at a car wash. And I took this super long 160, 180 inch, 160 inch limousine is a 14 passenger Lincoln Town car and I took it through a uh, car wash and uh, I'm already you know pressed for time I didn't know I had to stop and go through a car wash you know it's supposed to already be washed but anyway so it got me a little bit late so I called my client I told him I'd be a couple minutes late and uh, so I pull out of the limo uh, not the limo I pull out of the car wash so I go to the light and uh, when I go up to the light, I got people like honking at me. I'm wondering, what's going on, what's going on? So somebody pulled up in the truck and he, I wrote on my window. He said, hey, uh, your limo from the, the, the half back, uh, it's all pink, it's suzzy. And I saw suds, you know, through the rear view mirror coming down the back, but I thought it was no big deal. I had no idea the limo is pink from halfway back because of the suds. So I'm already late, so I, didn't, I don't have time to even turn around, so. I'm gonna go ahead to these people's houses and uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, sort of smooth my way and uh, get them to give me a towel and I'm gonna wipe this thing down. This is it's so funny when I mean, you got these kind of jobs dealing with the public and uh, <laughs> you get these kind of problems. It's so, it's so funny dealing with stuff every day. It's, it's just an adventure. So as a matter of fact, they gave me an idea. I'm probably making another channel uh, and I'll make a channel for uh, limousine adventures. I got some good stories. And I got a lot of celebrity stories that I can tell you, uh, but that's that's actually going against the limo, limousine code. But uh, maybe I'll just make it anonymous and make it obvious enough for you to know who I'm talking about without saying the name. Maybe I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So I know this is pretty funny, and it's out, you know, near the middle of nowhere. Still, people over here. What I'm gonna do? Look at this. Look at this. It's terrible. Just got all kind of crap on here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually, uh, hopefully I got enough time here. Let me see if I can. I'm trying to get this uh, foam off right here. This foam on top, I went through the car wash and they didn't tell me that the foam didn't come oh. off. So I don't want to pull up to my client, you know, they're up the street right. with that on there. So this is I don't, a bad spot. Ain't it? Oh my God, such a bad spot. But uh, I just wanted to get it off, and the only way I can get up there is, uh, you know, stepping up on there. So that's why I'm uh, right here. Okay. So. I just wanted yeah. to make sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. All right. You Good wouldn't luck. have to have a, have a towel, would you? I don't. Oh, okay. You know what? Let me call you back, honey. Uh, Do you think this would help? Yeah. Squeegee it? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Thanks. Yeah, right quick. Yeah, I don't have anything in the trunk. But yeah, this will work perfect. Yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get. That's all I wanted, just to look decent. Still looks crappy, but hey, <laughs> better than what it was. Right? No one's even gonna notice. I hope not. Just my luck. I'm gonna go back to the car wash and charge them. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah. Appreciate it so much. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good one. You too. All right. So, I got lucky or blessed, whatever you want to call it. So, let's get out of here. So, I'm almost stuck because I pulled over so close to the uh, to the side so I can jump on top. So perfect. I was able to get it. It wasn't it wasn't 100%. It's not 100%, but hey, I'll say uh, 70%. Yeah. So, I'm gonna have to talk to the people again and make sure they don't really, um, you know, get too mad at me. Of course, that's what we do at least customer service, direct, uh, oh God, this is the stop. 
Hold on, yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bag it up. Hold on, brother. I see you. I see you. Oh, you see me? There we go. So yeah, it's icy in the mug, and I just slipped right past the uh, stop. Hopefully this guy don't think I'm retarded. I got him on four-way flash, and I'm slipping all over the place to slide. Hopefully that's not them, as a matter of fact. They're gonna be like, oh no, I'm not riding with that guy. But anyway, that should be a customer service motto. Turn the lemons to lemonade. It's not anymore. Customer service is played out. It's like the uh, 80s mullet or the 80s uh, high top fade. It's played out. All right. Thank God we uh, found somebody who just happened to be passing by. She was nice enough to give me her brush, her uh, car scraper slash brush. So I'm going up this road. Look how narrow it is. Are you supposed to get two cars on this road? Come on, really? Made these roads. What were they thinking? I mean, we're gonna be riding up here. I mean, motorcycles. It's the only thing I can fit. You know, with people, two people going opposite ways. Oh, Lord. and then you got these far drops. Great. Now, this is funny about these limos. They have us uh, pull into these houses. That's like off in Michigan. You got a lot of lot of land. You know, we go further up north. And these houses got a, these massive driveways that you pull into it, and it's almost like a compound. So you gotta wind out these crazy narrow roads, and it's actually a driveway. And then most times you almost gotta back right out because the limo is so long, it's almost not worth even going in there. Because if you get stuck, that's the that's who's who's getting paid. Nobody's getting paid. So here it is. Here's the birthday party house with the balloons so that's that and this is the driveway I'm talking about of course it, it would be one of those driveways look at that I don't even know if I can you know what what I'm gonna do and I'm a master at this I'm gonna back this puppy up that's what I'm gonna do they come on pass I'm gonna back this puppy up and they're gonna be like oh my god you're amazing and I'm gonna be like oh yeah I know but no, this is really hard, seriously. And then this truck is still behind me, if you can see way back there. <laughs> the truck is creeped up behind me, like, dude, you got problems. All right, dude, you got four wheel drive. I'm sure you can get past me. So this guy, he's, he's, he's about to be pissed off. Sorry, sorry, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. I don't think. All right, here we go. Backing this puppy up. I have no idea what's back there. And this is where we'll drive, so I might just get stuck. Who knows? Hopefully I won't get stuck up in here. This is nuts. I should get paid extra just for doing this crap. Of course, it's one of the cheapest runs I've got. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh buddy, oh pal. You know what? I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna drive up for it. And we're gonna see how I can get this up here. Now these cars too, we still driving these Lincoln Town cars. And the Lincoln Town cars, if you know anything about those, they actually have wheel 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 rear wheel drive. Say that five times fast. And the thing about those is that it's pushing from behind. Oh god, I'm about to get stuck already. It's pushing from behind. Okay, I should have said that because I think I really am stuck. Oh, shoot. Alright. Right. This isn't funny now. It's getting serious. I really think I'm stuck, and this is not funny.
pretty good about getting unstuck. Because I've been driving trucks before this. I used to drive the FedEx, so a couple times I got stuck in that. And, uh... It's not fun getting stuck. Especially when a customer is pissed at you for getting stuck. It's like, I don't want to get stuck no more than you want me to get stuck. You got these uh, crazy driveways, so we unstuck. Thank God, and this is nothing but ice going up here. I don't even know if I can get up here. Oh, heck no. Nah. They about to run out, because I ain't about to do this. They about to run out. No possible way I can get up there, no possible way. How, how could you even think I can get up there? You should have told me when I was coming. Oh, you won't be able to get up here unless you got four wheel drive. Heck no, I'm about, to, I'm about to run up there. Here we go. All right. All right, I ran up to the top. It looks like I might be able to make it if I go fast. <laughs> I'm trying to be a GoPro hero. This is the only way you can be a GoPro hero. You gotta do crazy stuff so people can watch it. That's what people do, right? And this thing is sliding all the way up the hill. I can't even get no traction. Oh, heck no, I ain't making it. As far as up I can go. I hope my car don't slip backwards and put on the parking brake. Not that that's gonna matter. So check this out. So I'm going up here. And of course, what do they have? A mother loving dog. But I don't care. Check this out. I'm not scared of dogs and they know it. So they usually back up. Watch this. Oh, relax, relax. Relax, relax. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey boy. Hey boy. Go that Hopefully I don't get bit. So this is what I got. I got a ton of girls. I got a ton of girls. It's a uh, 13th birthday. So the mom gonna ask me. You can't pull up in the driveway. If you shovel that in driveway, I can pull up in it. All right, this is dusk. It's about uh, 6, 15 ish. I don't know exactly, it's my watch is off. But it's about 6, 15, it's winter time. 